I have a favorite album of hers, the one that's the, the one, I think it's called Never Loved a Man the Way I Love You. It was like the staple album. It's got like respect on it. It's got Never Loved a Man. It's got like all of the like classic Aretha songs that you think of right off your bat and right off the bat. And when she passed, I literally played that vinyl like all day long. But if I had to pick a specific song, um, it might be I Never Loved a Man the Way I Love You. Because it's still sassy, but it's, you know, has some love in it. And I like love. <laughs> and sass. And sass. Oh, yes. That's at the top of the list. <laughs> I was in Detroit the morning she passed. I was walking through the airport and saw it on the big monitor. And I had a weird feeling that the Queen of Soul took her last breath. And I was in the same air she was. And that was a very, I don't know, it was a very sad, um, weird feeling. I don't know how to explain that. And I had to go to Kansas City that night. I was flying from Detroit to Kansas City to do a show. And I landed, and my boys said, we've got to do an Aretha song tonight. So we did Natural Woman. She just wailed on that song. And it really, it, we waited until the end of the show. Everybody was in. It was an encore moment. Everybody just lost their minds. If you screw up an Aretha Franklin song, you need to go back uh, and start over again. So it was really nerve-wracking. We wanted to do it respectfully and at a time of the night when it really mattered. I was lucky enough to be nominated for Grammys, and she was there. So I got, there was one experience where I got to share this dressing area with her and um, Bonnie Raitt and me and, like, um, all these great female artists. And we were walking around the snack table and stuff, and, you know, she was definitely putting on the air that she was queen of the space. And, I mean, rightfully so. Uh, a sweetheart, but just powerful, powerful presence that she had and could sing like no other. I keep looking at her picture in here in the Ryman because walking up and down those back stairs, it's a beautiful picture of her, and uh, it's sad when we lose great talent like that. You know, I, I, the reason I, I was, I mean, I was lucky. Reason never really left my, my CD. There's three, three songs that make pretty much every playlist I put out there, and so you know, you know, one of them makes every playlist. So it's, it's. But uh, yeah, you know, you go back and you listen to the whole records now, you know, you know, listen to the old Dwayne Allman records, you know, they, they, when he's playing on there, and stuff, you know, and it's, it's sad. She's, you know, she lived an amazing life, and, and we are blessed to have lived in a time when we got to see the Queen of Souls sing.